Hey guys, Repairman here, here to show you my non-stackable item sorter. So this machine here is specifically designed to sort out things that are non-stackable that your conventional sorting machines cannot sort out. So first to start this process off, we need to get rid of the potions out of the system. Otherwise, when we dispense out shock boxes, lava, and other things, It'll spit out the potions out and they'll smash it against the wall rather than get set aside. So we use this, we use a dropper, put, try and push them into a brewing stand. If they're potions, water bottles, awkward potions, no matter what it is, if it's potion related, it will go into it and then get sucked down and put aside, which will eventually go to our brewing room once we have that built back up again. and. Uh, if it's not one of the brewing items, then it will get sucked down underneath the this dropper and get pushed over into this hot dropper elevator. Gets detected and gets pulses this and brings it back up to this level to go into the actual machine because this was actually built after this machine was. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would have just leveled that off into it. But oh well. All right, so anyways, now to the actual machine itself that does the non-stackable stuff. Well, not the potions weren't non-stackable, but that's a smaller machine. This main machine deals with water, lava, flint and steel, and shock boxes, and empty shock boxes, and other general stuff that gets sent in a third pipeline. So the shock boxes will get dispensed out here. That piston will crush it and push it down this way. So shock boxes will always go down this way. Random junk will get popped out and just land into these hoppers down below. And water and lava will get it will get double pulsed, pulled back in, and a hopper underneath the di dispenser there will pull them down. Oh, looks like this machine just kicked into gear. Someone dropped some stuff in the sorter. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, so this machine, once the items come over here, the comparator will detect it. And what this little portion of the system does is it slows down the pipeline. Because we only want to deal with one item at a time. So that'll be start that hopper timer, send a pulse here, pulling one item through. Unfortunately, this design also leaves one single item in there, but may I revise this and stop it from doing that in the future, but works for now. All right, so then it brings it into this dispenser, comparator detects it, turns on this hopper timer, which will send a pulse down this line and this line. Now this one sends a monostable circuit, one sync, basically one pulse, in two directions. Here, immediately dispensing the water and this repeater then later will pulse it which will then pull back in the water so that's the double pulse if it's a shock box it'll go out and stay out if it's a regular item it'll just get dropped onto the ground if it's water and lava double pulse means it goes out and then comes back in so that's the purpose of that now the this tower goes up monostable circuit means it just says one pulse then and that has repeaters going in both directions one no tick the other has four ticks so that we can extend the uh, extension of that piston that pushes the shock box into that hopper so that way it, it has less chance of falling back into here also that redstone line continues on down line and a repeater down there delays it to depower this hopper so it will pull the water buckets and lava buckets and the flint and steel out of this dispenser and pull it down. Then we need to both deal with the flint and steel, separating that from the buckets. So that's what this machine does here. When it's a bucket, since there's a, a sign here, it's occupying that space but it's not totally occupied. Water and lava can't fill up that spot. 
so they dispense out as a s actual uh, entity item and get shot into a flow that brings them into a water and lava bucket box eventually I'll add in a machine that will separate the water and the lava but I just want to get this machine fully operational linked in the system like it is now get our item delivery system online then I'll add that machine in later now we take the flint and steel it doesn't get dispensed and that will get shot down this line and get sent to a flint and steel box in our tool room now the shock boxes will be empty and full we'll get push down that line from up there into here now when it hits here this observer will pulse this which will go over here move when it moves over here it will send a pulse powering that powering that which will do two things one it will crush the shock box it'll power through the um, they're blocking the next uh, or just shooting out the next item and uh, what you call it uh, it'll, it will power this block here from this oh yeah the, if the comparator nah I'm screw up a little bit but yeah the comparator will detect the power from the shock box if it has items torch will turn off piston will pull up power from this hopper will depower which means when that shock box gets sucked up in here it will pass all the way down into our unloading machine if that doesn't happen when it gets crushed it will just suck into this hopper line into the dispenser and will go into our um, storage silo that stores all the empty shock boxes that fills both our item delivery system this is run by shock boxes so we can very quickly send items back and forth from castle to castle and it fills uh, and it runs our bulk storage system which uses the shock boxes to fill up with one set item and just constantly fill it until it's full and then it crushes and puts it in a chest for a mass amount of storage um, oh yeah and the uh, unloader over here this has uh, two rapid fire circuits one a little slower um, this will slowly well I guess you can call it a rapid fire a slow firing circuit here two four tick repeaters going around into a comparator so it just pulses itself slowly and run that extra leg off into that block so that this dispenser will dispense out the next shock box on a slow rate this one on the other hand is a f rapid fire repeating circuit so that way it just constantly pumps out the items that go into that uh, dropper all those items are pulled out of that shock box now once they're completely pulled out the comparator there will turn off the repeater will turn off that block depowering will allow that torch that's on the side of this block to turn on this block will power powering this will spit the uh, one item into there into here momentarily powering that comparator will pull back in but before it does it'll power this repeater crushing the shock box and because there's a rapid fire circuit here it will keep dropping shock boxes until all the shock boxes have been emptied even if there's just one single item in it'll drop crush and keep doing it and now the empty shock box will go back into our sorter because this goes into our sorter input line around this whole sorter four times into 512 different sorting units those empty shock boxes will end up in our overflow line here and get down into the system and into this empty shock box line and stored away so that's that uh, if you guys enjoy it let me know if you guys want a specific uh, little breakdown of a certain section of this a little more detailed so you can build this machine yourself uh, let me know uh, and until next time
this repairman. Oh yeah, I almost forgot too. That uh, overflow line, bring the here item elevator up to the line where I have it go up and over and shoot that over to our junk room and it fills into a junk box. Yep, so that's that. Till next time, you guys keep that repair redstone going and uh, keep inventing cool things. Later.